Are Christians called to support transgenderism? The answer to that is no. Now, we are supportive in the sense of we are kind, loving, gracious to those who are struggling with transgenderism, but we don't do anything at all to support transgenderism because transgenderism goes deliberately against God's word and God's design. And anything that goes against God's design is ultimately going to lead to destruction and there's going to be sadness and depression. When we go against God's design, for us who have had sex outside of marriage or we've we've been involved with doing things with in a relationship we shouldn't be doing or we've been involved with cheating someone or or are lying to other people in order to skew a story to our own benefit to where we've become so angry we've blown up at other people we become very prideful and narcissistic where we can't go a day without posting about ourselves and how good we look on social media whatever it is whenever we go against god's design it always leads to destruction and there is no contentment. And if you look at the stats, not including bullying, over 50% of people who get a sex change and are transgenders end up committing suicide. And so for those who support transgenderism, they are supporting over a 50% chance that that person's going to commit suicide. That doesn't sound like love to me at all. And when we are born again, have believed Jesus Christ as Lord and Savior and repent of our sins, we take God at his word. Male and female, God created them. It doesn't say uh, male and female, God might have made it appropriate. God could have made a mistake. God is perfect. He has all power. He knows exactly what he's doing. He has all knowledge. At any moment, at any time, he can do whatever he chooses. And before he does something, he knows what will be done and knows what must be done. So God does not make any mistakes by any means. And so we can rest assured that if we were born the way we are by our genetic makeup, God has even given us genes to let us know what is male and female. Obviously, it doesn't take a genius to understand by, look, by understanding the private parts of who's who. But for those in the midst of this generation that seems very odd and, and having a very difficult time figuring out what's the difference between a male and a female, uh, God has given us the genetic makeup code. And so we are not called to support transgenders. We don't support transgenderism. Uh, again, we are supportive in our loving uh, kindness and graciousness and willingness to share them truth and to help them with their burden and their struggle. But we don't ever condone transgenderism. It's the same as condoning anything else that the Bible calls sin. We don't condone it. People have different struggles, and we want to be there and pray for them and truly bear their burdens, but we do not support people in their sin because if we truly love them, we want them to get away from sin because it is sin that sent Christ to the cross. It is because of sin that people go to hell. It is because of sin that evils in the world and every single muck and mire thing that can be pumped out and the pollution of this world, it is because of sin and if we truly want the best for people, in order to follow God's design, it's to get away from sin. If we're living in lifestyles of sin and we're unconvicted, we don't want to change, uh, that's leading to destruction, which is hell and the lake of fire. But thanks be God, he wants to save all people. And if we truly love someone, we're going to say, this is going to be uncomfortable. I don't want to speak out against this. And I have such a fleshly instinct. I want to be supportive of this because they're so, such nice and kind people. We do not support sin as born-again believers because if we do, their blood will be upon our hands if they don't repent and turn to Christ. We will be responsible for leading people into hell because we were too cowardice to say otherwise. And if we look in Revelation, the first people to be cast in the lake of fire are those who are cowardice. So may we just understand that we are to love those who are struggling with this. We don't make fun of them. We don't bully them. But nonetheless, we do not support transgenderism because it is supporting confusion, it is supporting uh, discontentment within people's life, and ultimately, it's leading to over a 50%, not due to bullying, but a 50% chance that that person is going to commit suicide. So can Christians support genderism? Should they? The answer to that is no. Not at all. We don't support sin, but we do love sinners, and we share truth with them, and we pray for them the very end.